back between the legs. I get to my finish. And again, the main thing we're focusing on is this back hook and driving. Right? Driving, 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 getting above the knee. Okay? Getting to this position. All right? A couple people ask, well, what if this guy comes up here, tries to take me over the top? If he does, go out to the car and get like a battle axe or something. Like that guy's that much stronger than you. There's no way he should be on his back and just be able to claw me and like roll me through. Unless my hips or like on top of him. Like I said, my butt's off the mat, but I'm driving. There's no way he should take me through. And if he does reach up like this, then just crotch his wrist. He's just basically giving you perfect position here. Now, a lot of times they'll grab this low ankle here with the bottom hand, okay? All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stay in the same position. I'm gonna attack his wrist, but I can't kick straight away. Pull it in real tight. I can't kick straight away, I literally can't, okay? I'm gonna attack his wrist, bring my knee to my chest and kick the ceiling. Now I have his wrist. I take his wrist and I feed it to my hand that was leg halfing. This is just Granby system, forced roll kind of position right here. I'm grabbing under, does everybody see that? I'm not grabbing his fingers, I'm grabbing under the wrist. Now this hand's free. Now I can attack the head and scissor my legs and finish all these positions if you want. Okay, but I don't want you here and then just grabbing the head. This guy's gonna tie up my ankles and it's gonna be a mess down here. He might grab at my ankle with his top hand, okay, and try to belly down here. Nothing's different. That's why we leg half. If I'm just hand on the mat, he'll keep turning down and I'll lose this position. So that's why we drive and leg half. I have his foot off the mat. Again, it's a battle of feet in the mat. I got my feet in the mat, he's got one foot in the mat. Tack the wrist, knee to the chest, kick the ceiling. Now, when I attack top hand, I have a couple options. I can throw the wrist away and turn towards the legs, or I can bring my leg hand half out and turn towards the head. Just like I talked about a minute ago. In a wrestling match, you have to start calculating risk factor based on the position you are in the match. Time, score, what he beat you with before, what you beat him with before. Those are things that are constantly going through your head. You're problem solving, okay? Last one we'll get to here is when he locks in the crotch. So I still have my leg half and he locks in the crotch. Most of the time this guy's like, you know what, I'm just gonna hang on for a stalemate here, especially if the ref hadn't given me anything. So I can come under the arm and I can break his grip with my hips and my shoulders, okay? And again, I can come under to the half or I can start turning towards the legs, all right? If I can't break his grip right here, I just change arms right here. You ever watch John Smith show a lot of his low single finishes and single leg attacks and guys try to lock in the crotch, this is the exact same finish. He specifically talks about when the guy's high up on the crotch right here, shifting his butt back and getting his top hand through. Notice I posted across the body. If you can't keep this guy here in this position, again, hit the trunk of the car, take whatever you can find, all right? We should be able to hold this guy here, all right? Then it's just finishing finishing halves, all right? So, I wanna make sure that we have all these finishes in mind. And again, we might have to wrestle to a couple extra positions, but these are the main reactions we're gonna see from this guy. Bottom hand, top hand, lock in the crotch. So, dive through, back hook, pressure to the hip, work my grip above the knee, start reading position. Tack the grip, don't slough here, don't just do this, okay? Knee to the chest, kick the ceiling, Feed the hungry hand, I can start finishing here. Other hand comes up, I don't have to reset every time. He just gives me a different feel. Attack the grip, knee, kick, and I got options. I can throw it away and turn towards the legs, or I can bring it out, keep it up, and look to look left hand half. If he's in the crotch, same thing. I can use my hips and my body to break it and turn towards the head, or if I can't break it, okay, leg half hand comes out. See, I'm already turning my hips down, and I'm replacing. Right here. Now I got him trapped. He hung on too long. All right. So run through all those scenarios. Top guy. Just keep giving him different feels. Double leg guy. Give him different feels. Go. Let's go.